How does Luminar Neo's Mask AI feature compare to Lightroom? Today we're going to find it. So here we are in Luminar Neo and I'm just going to go into develop here, masking, mask AI, and then we're going to click on human and you're going to see the selection is fairly accurate. If we look at the edges here, especially around the body here, it picks out pretty well. There's a little bit of cleanup here that's required. It's also picking up the hairs, the stray hairs here and the hat. There's a bit of cleanup at the top here. If I zoom in here, you can see that masking with people in Luminar Neo is very strong. It works very well. Now we're going to go into Lightroom and do the same thing. And we're going to hit select subject. Lightroom also selects portrait subjects very accurately. And I would call this really a very close tie, at least in this picture. It's selected even the stray hairs here. If we look at the edges and around the hat here, there's no bleed at the top here at the hat like we saw in Neo. And it does a pretty decent job all around. It's funny it had the same issue in the same area here, but for the most part, I would call this a tie. Now, how does it fare with group photos? Well, let's take a look. So we're going to start in Lightroom this time, and we're going to trigger the mask here. This is just a stock photo that I pulled online. I thought it'd be a good image to use. One of the areas that I always look at when it comes to mask selections is the hairs, as mentioned before. And if we look at Lightroom selections here, it does a really good job. There's a few strands here and there that it's no big deal. Most people aren't going to see that, but the accuracy is very, very impressive. I'm really impressed with Lightroom's accuracy. And of course, along the arms here, you see how accurate the selection is. Now let's take a look how Luminar Neo fares, and we're going to go ahead and trigger Mask AI. Luminar Neo does a very good job in terms of the selection and accuracy as well. Again, along the body of, of the kids here. Uh, but you will notice that although it picked up some of the strains of hair here, it did miss a bit in the background. So not as accurate as Lightroom, but very, very close. And it still gives very pleasing results. For this round, we're going to take a look at landscapes. This first example in Luminar Neo, we're going to go ahead and select sky. And right away, you see that not only the edges need some work, also in the, the tree area here, it's missing quite a bit of detail. With that being said, though, this is where Luminar Neo is most versatile, especially when it comes to landscapes. I could select the mountain range here and the water separately and do specific edits to these areas. Now, depending on what it is you want to do, if you want to add sharpening, some details, some structure, you could refine these selections, but the edge selection isn't as important, I would say, but still something to take note of. As we take a look at Lightroom, first I would say the sky selection is very accurate, especially in the edges and in between the trees here. There's a bit of detail missing here, but it's much more accurate than what we saw in Luminar Neo. The problem is if I wanted just to select the mountain area, I would have to manually do it. Lightroom doesn't know what's your subject, so it's selecting this area here which obviously doesn't work for me. This round, we're going to look at some cityscapes and see how each program deals with that. First, we're going to click the sky and you're going to see a running theme here with sky selections where the edges will need some refinement in Luminar Neo. Not the end of the world. I'm going to go ahead and unclick this and click on architecture here. And for the most part, it, it does an OK job. If we zoom in here, you see the edges aren't exactly straight here. Let's take a look how Lightroom deals with this photo. So let's try the sky mask first. On most of the edges here, it's pretty accurate. It is bleeding at the top here quite a bit, missing a bit of selection up here. Also some bleed here and here. But again, the edges a bit better than Luminar Neo. Let's take a look at if we use the select subject. 
And as expected, if we zoom in here, we look at the edges here and it's a lot more accurate than Neo. There is a bit here that we need to clean up. A pretty, pretty decent job. Very acceptable. Example number two, we're going to do the same thing. Select the sky first, see how that works. The top of the building, there is some bleed through. The running theme with Lightroom is the edge accuracy. It's so good and very, very useful. Select the subject, which should be the buildings. Similar to the other example with the landscape photo, it's only selecting partially here, as you can see. So same image in Luminar Neo. No surprises, the edge selection not as accurate as Lightroom. A little bit of bleed as well. No surprises. So we're going to uncheck that. Click Architecture. As expected, it selects most of the buildings here. Edge selection not very accurate. Again, very fixable. At least it selects all the architecture here. Moving to the transport category and click on Mask AI here in Luminar Neo. Click on Transport. It does a fairly acceptable job. We would have to delete and do some cleanup here. A little bit under the bumper, a bit around the tires. Not 100% accurate, but still very acceptable. Now here's a little bit of a workaround when you stack masks. Remember how this wasn't very accurate? What I can do now is unselect the man-made ground and you see now how much more accurate, especially under the bumper is here. So it's deleting what was once there before. If you stack masks together and you subtract one from the other, you may be able to get more of an accurate result. A little mask hack, that's a good workaround for this type of photo. Okay, let's see how Lightroom does. And to no surprise, it, it doesn't need any workarounds or anything like that. Under the bumper, very accurate. A little bit of work between here, but nothing drastic. Top of the car, very accurate. Now, I will tell you from my testing, cars and motorcycles, those type of transport, both programs do it very well. Airplanes is a little bit of a different story. So let's first start with Lightroom and we're going to go ahead and select the sky. Very accurate, especially around the edges. If I were to make some adjustments to the highlights, you see that it's not affecting the actual planes here. Right? If I bring the exposure down, you can really see the edges are done very well, even between this area here, where you can see even the dude here. <laughs> wow, you can see the people. So no surprises, Lightroom does a really good job when it comes to planes. Luminar Neo, however, a little different story. This I found most interesting. Let's click on sky and again, running theme, not very accurate around the edges and it's totally missing the areas in between here. Now let's click on transport. And this is what I found really interesting. You see how there are these rectangle uh, sections here, almost as if Luminar Neo is slicing out the image and just kind of telling itself to focus on these areas and mask out what it thinks is transport. However, it's not doing a very good job because we can see these edges on all of the planes here. And even if I were to clean this up, it's quite the manual job. Now, if I were to try the whole stacking trick, it kind of helps see where I've selected and deselected the sky. It takes away all that stuff that was around it, but you could still see a little bit of it here at the bottom of this image. Cockpit area, I still would have to do some manual cleanup there. Now with this last example, it just proves with Luminar Neo that it lacks a bit of consistency in terms of its accuracy. Now of all the examples I've showed you, it's been a pretty back and forth battle and Luminar Neo is holding its own. But here's where Lightroom lays the biggest blow to Luminar Neo. When it comes to animals, Lightroom is way ahead of Luminar Neo. Luminar Neo's animal selection is non-existent. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and select the subject. And you'll see that Lightroom just does such a phenomenal job selecting this hummingbird. 
if you look again at the accuracy of the selection, it's deadly accurate and I love this about Lightroom. Switching over to Neo, let's trigger the Mask AI. There is no selection for animals. Architecture may work every now and then. At least in this area, the edge is pretty decent, but it's missing some areas here. And yes, you can manually brush this in, but honestly, I feel like animals in general have been ignored by Skylim. I'm gonna get back to that in a second. Now, if I were to click on anything else here, it really doesn't recognize anything else. Even the flora, it's not recognizing the background, the flora in the background. There's no water. So I'm kind of limited here to use the architecture selection and then manually fill in the areas here. Lightroom's biggest advantage is the edge selection is very accurate and fairly reliable. Whereas Neo's versatility to be able to select the ground, select the flora, and work on those areas in the image in isolation is a huge plus. And as we saw them go back and forth and exchange blows, this final round was the knockout for Lightroom. The ability to select animals, because I know many of you are animal photographers or even have pets and like to take pictures of their pets, the inability to select animals in Mask AI, I think, is a huge detriment to Luminar Neo. As a person that does mainly portrait photography and I do some other stuff as hobbies, Luminar Neo meets most of my needs. But on the flip side, to see how accurate Lightroom can be when there's an object in the image, it's very, very impressive. In Luminar Neo's defense though, this just came out, whereas the masking feature for Lightroom has been around for, I think, around a year, give or take. But it's obvious that Luminar Neo has some catching up to do in certain areas. Now, obviously, I'd like to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the comparisons. I think once Luminar Neo gets through all their updates and it's more refined and polished, it's going to give Lightroom a run for its money. For now, my friends, until the next video, I'll see you when I see you.